Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president addressed the national tragedy in Newtown, Connecticut, and promised meaningful action to address gun violence, while the White House invited some of its newest Pinterest followers, and the president spread some holiday cheer. That's December 14th to December 20th, or we are there for them. On Friday, after the tragic events in Newtown, Connecticut, the president delivered an emotional statement in the White House briefing room. In the hard days to come, that community needs us to be at our best as Americans, and I will do everything in my power as president to help. All of us can extend a hand to those in need, to remind them that we are there for them, that we are praying for them, that the love they felt for those they lost endures not just in their memories, but also in ours. On Sunday, the president traveled to Newtown, Connecticut, and spoke at an interfaith vigil for the victims of the shooting and their families. We can't tolerate this anymore. These tragedies must end. And to end them, we must change. Charlotte, Daniel, Olivia, Josephine, Anna, Dylan, Madeline, Catherine, Chase, Jesse, James, Grace, Emily, Jack, Noah, Caroline, Jessica, Benjamin, Avliel, Allison. On Monday, to help kick off the White House presence on Pinterest, the Office of Digital Strategies hosted a White House holiday social with some of our newest Pinterest followers, where the pinners had a chance to talk with and hear from a series of White House officials, including Director of the Visitor's Office, Ellie Schaefer, the Chief of Staff for the First Lady, Tina Chen, and the digital strategists who wanted to strategize digitally. Where are the conversations about these sort of substantive issues that the country is grappling with happening, and how are they happening on Pinterest? On Tuesday, the president dropped by the offices of some of his staff, who play a critical role in running the day-to-day -day functions of the White House, for some holiday greetings, a whole lot of hugs, group photos, and some time to thank the staff for all their hard work over the course of the year. I'm, I'm using your work product, and it's really helping me out. Uh, I'm very proud of you. He even snuck in a few good old-fashioned presidential Q&A sessions. You know, who, who wants to describe to me the process of dealing with 40,000 emails? There's only just four of you. That's a lot of letters to read. It's a lot, yeah. It's like 400 a day. Yeah, what do you guys got cooked up now? What's, what's the next next big thing? <laughs> APIs for WhiteHouse.gov. APIs for WhiteHouse.gov. What in the heck does that mean? <laughs> I'm a big believer in us using uh, new media to, to reach people who otherwise can't be reached. And, and the way more we engage them, the better our democracy works, the better our public policy is, better our, better our people. Right? I have been waiting for this privilege for four years. Well, I've been you. here 20. I am so grateful that you have been, and I'm so glad we had a chance to say each other. Let's take a good picture with everybody. Yes. Yes. All, all, we'll do all the volunteers first, then I'll do all the staff. But let's put on your back. Nobody's going to steal it. I'm right here. I got Secret Service looking after it. On Wednesday, the president delivered a statement about the policy process the administration will pursue in the wake of the Newtown tragedy. Then he took questions from reporters about it and his efforts to find a bipartisan compromise to reduce our deficit. If there's one thing we should have after this week, it should be a sense of perspective about what's important. The country deserves folks to be willing to compromise on behalf of the greater good and not tangle themselves up uh, in a whole bunch of ideological positions that don't make much sense. So uh, I remain uh, not only open to conversations, but I remain eager to get something done. That evening, the president addressed an international holiday gathering at the State Department of the world's diplomatic corps and spoke on the importance of their work in light of the recent events here at home. And we're reminded that whatever differences on the surface Deep down, we're bound by a certain set of basic aspirations. We want our children to be safe and free from fear. 
And that, I think, is one of the ways we can honor uh, all these beautiful children uh, and incredible teachers who were lost this past Friday by building a future that is equal to their dreams and delivers on the dreams of children all around the world just like them. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. Sasha to my lap. <laughs> and then he has the nerve not to be comfortable. <laughs> All right, let's get you a girl.